Well, I would be inclined to do it at uh, 3,000 feet, I think. Okay, that's really high, but uh -huh. that's pretty right. high. 2,500, compromise, all right. Um, I'm going back all right, to oil the, uh, light just oil came oil. on. Uh, so I check my uh, oil temperature, and if uh, it's not rising, uh, I land as soon as practicable, so I'd probably go back to the Air to Kenosha. What about your oil pressure gauge? Oh, well, I checked that too. Uh, okay. So now your oil pressure gauge pegged in the red. Position, Any, three, three, anything five, else five. or just the oil pressure? You got oil pressure pegged and your oil light's on. Okay, and I have no vibrations? <laughs> well, I don't uh, know. I would uh, land as soon as practicable, which would be going back to Kenosha. I don't know what I would do with that one. I'd probably land it. Zero nine heading clear for takeoff, runway seven left, jet speed eight forty. We'll just go a couple more miles here. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Let's see. Oil pressure's pegged. Oil lights red, but our oil temp's okay. I'd probably keep this altitude, seventy knots, eighty knots, or as fast as I can, ready for an auto. Okay. That's me, though. I mean, what I'd tell a private pilot student is, I'll land that thing in a field, and we'll come check it out. Okay. Um, you know, unless you're really proficient with full down autos and you know you can get one down safely, you know, play it safe for sure. Have Bob the mechanic run out five minutes later. Yep, we've got oil. It's not leaking anywhere. That's safe. Okay, this looks good. Let's do, uh, let's do settling with power. Show me your stuff. Okay. I want to, I want you to call out and identify your ingredients, what you're doing. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, until I get it uh, started, I'm going to maintain my 2,500. I'm going to gradually slow down. Uh, I'm going to turn so I have a tailwind. Okay, what do we do before all that? Uh, we, do some, uh, we do some clearing turns. Okay. okay. Uh, approve to, to the north. you got to pull on that power when you start those turns, right? Right. What happens to your lift vector, right? You're splitting it. And all of a sudden, we've got total lift vector trying to keep us up in the air, and then also... So you're gonna uh, give us a southwest heading, was it? Is that what you said? Uh, yep. Okay, and you're gonna pull it to an OG hover, maintaining 2,500 feet. I'm gonna exit forward. Okay. Try to hold it in the hover for a little bit. Zero ground speed, so you're looking outside. Hey, that's like a hover? Yeah, you're still moving forward pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to uh, start at uh, a little lap stick. Got a tailwind, so the downwash is going in front of us. There you go. There it is. That's settling with power. Hyper 47 Julie Kenosha Tower, runway 15. You're cleared for the low approach. Report missed to the south. Okay, so identify what went wrong. Missed approach to the south. Thank you. I think I dropped the nose too abruptly. So you were in selling with power big time. So you definitely have a tailwind up here. I would be making a right turnout. Okay. Now if you do it 180 degrees when your nose is into the wind, then you just need to go straight out. Pulling that power, you're gonna start to descend. That's enough. That's enough, take it a little out. Pull it to a hover, make sure we're in a hover first. Nice and light on those feet. Okay, pull on enough power to hover here for a bit. All right, so you still got indicated, so we're still drifting forward. So right now, when you start to pull, we'll take out a little bit of power because we're climbing, you take a little bit of aft pressure in with your cyclic. Vibrations, 300 foot per minute rate of descent, zero airspeed, settling with power cover. Lower, lower. All right, we, we don't want to go sideways out of trim. You don't want to turn it. Get that thing into the, the wind and then pull in power. All right. I'll do one with you. All right, so we're going to hover here. You're really light on those feet. Let's hover. Yeah, we definitely have a tailwind. You can feel that for sure. Okay, so as soon as we get in a little half stick here. Boy, where is the wind? Hold on a second. Let's figure out where the wind is. I'd say it's kind of out of that direction, huh? All right. 
So I'm gonna take out just a hair of power. You got two of the ingredients. We're waiting for our vibrations. Okay. There's the vibrations. 100 feet, 200 feet, 300 feet lower. Collective lower nose. Slight right turn while we're pulling in power. And we've recovered within 40 feet. All right, you got it? Have it. I think that I definitely think the wind is out more of the east. Okay. And try it with a headwind. It's a lot easier with a headwind. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. It's a lot easier with a headwind. I think so. If you want to do it with a headwind, do it with a headwind. Okay. Let me do another. Uh, I just like to practice it right. so you get the full effect of what right. it's, the recovery is going to feel like right. when you're 100 feet from the ground right. and you've got it. Because it's a different. It's a right. whole different feel. Right. All right, airspeed, slow. We have a tailwind. Now we're waiting for vibrations, which we're kind of getting. We're still drifting forward, so a little more aft stick, and that'll induce your vortex ring state. A little bit more aft stick. Maybe just take out a little bit of power. Keep that nose. Eyes outside, 100, 200, 300, recover. Down right, all right, airspeed, good. Pulling the power, pull that power in right there. There you go, be pulling that power in. That was good, you made a lateral exit, then you only lost about 60 feet. Well, you gotta get that power in so we don't get okay. too high of a rate of descent. Now let's do a few into the wind. Okay. Okay, so slow it down a little. We're still drifting forward. You gotta look laterally and look at the ground. We're still moving forward. Take out a little bit of power because we're climbing. Slow it down a little bit. Vibrations. 100, 200, 300, recover. All right, I would not enter, I wouldn't exit laterally then. Go straight into the wind. The wind's kind of out of this heading, like a 110 or something like that. Be really light on your feet. Hey, three zero Delta, are you late front 83? Okay. We're on the airspeed. We'll come to a hover first. Now look laterally. Yeah, we're kind of still drifting, so take out just a hair of power. Zero airspeed, vibrations, 100, 200, 300. Down, that's enough. Eyes are outside on the lake. Positive airspeed, recovered. Point 83, read back, correct? Okay, do one more. Okay, we're gonna do another one? Yep. Well, I was on the controls with you on that one, sorry. Eyes need to be out here way out on the horizon to, for you to really get an idea of where your sight picture is, your attitude. There you go, you're in it. Cover. Down, forward, up collective. Clean air, up collective. There you go, we're covered within 50 feet. All right, where are we going? Uh, we're going to that... Uh Thirty-nine seven one uh, runway seven right. Field to the over Charlie. here. Oh, Kidoki. Uh, very long. I got plenty of field. I wouldn't sacrifice your airspeed now. Okay. I'd get your airspeed seventy knots. You can see the flag there. The wind's out of this direction, so you're good. So get that airspeed back. There you go, good, all right. You're gonna make your spot, make your field, everything's looking good, go ahead and recover. What else are we gonna say? Okay. Mayday, 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 good. Make a left turn out, because we're really close to the ring. Okay. Oh, why don't you take us back? Okay. 